ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WNF number whatever. This is, this is number two. Number two. Number two. Yeah, episode, this is episode two because now we're uh, anime now. Yeah, we switched to uh, Three, episodic two, uh, style. So, so like episode one, we just put episode one. Episode two, right? So this would be season four, I believe. <laughs> uh, well, right now we got Paper and Lamp, one of the most disgusting matches in the game. Game of Watch versus Heroes. It's going to be interesting to see how each of these manage to play out this situation. Both Paper and Lamp, very experienced players. Lamp, actually a, a former Game & Watch player from Smash 4, switching to Hero in this game because he loves Dragon Quest. And Paper, of course, a 10 plus year player of Game & Watch across Brawl and the other games. Too. Yet again, Paper being very, very familiar with his character knows exactly how far he needs to go in order to get that edge guard. It gets the clean bucket off of the sizzle, and you gotta wonder if your lamp now, how deep do you want to go with all of your projectiles? Because they're strong, but if they get bucketed, you know, it's either gonna get deflected or it's gonna get absorbed. You gotta be careful. You really gotta be careful. You have to hit him in a situation where he can't bucket. Most of your projectiles have to be punishes or else or at unreactable ranges, or else that bucket's gonna come into play. Um, yeah, very dangerous spot. All right, and then yet again, good edge guarding off of their paper right now. The combos coming in 74% already on the board, reading that roll get up on the stage. So here we go. No. Oh, Ooh, got him with that snooze. Yet again. I feel like he tried to reflect it, and then he right. realized, okay, I couldn't absorb it. But I'm surprised it didn't, like, reflect back. I don't Did he keep the bucket out long enough? I, I actually don't, don't remember. I don't know if he dropped it, but no. SD from Lamp. Um, Either, actually, did he have enough MP? I wasn't paying attention. He right? definitely had enough MP. He just MP. did level 2 instead of level 3. It's funny, I don't pay attention to those MP as much as I should be. Wow, went for that drag down there. Or maybe he expected to get the last hit and not gonna get a re-grab off that shield. Lamp can get out of that situation with not too much damage on the board. And that side, wow. Cut him with that flame, flame slash, I believe. Yep. So, what we saw earlier is that we saw Paper trying to bucket the, the Kazap. And the thing about Kazap is that you would think like, oh yeah, it's a Thunderbolt, it's an uh, energy projectile. But actually, it's unreflectable, unbucketable. It, the first hit is. The first hit. Okay. Yeah, so the first hit, it's like a command grab where like, it hits you, yeah. and then the Thunderbolt comes down. Oh, I see. It's so strong. This, uh, this level 2 version of it, this side view, the, the Thunder, does yeah. so much damage and it's instant and has insane range. Right now, let's see if Lamp is bring his back. Right now, he has, uh, I believe that's either in for Psych or actually in for Psych. Uh, good again. I believe that's also with Accelerate on the board. Yeah. Either way, Paper there. can't afford getting hit. Went for the crack, 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 slash, crack, crack, cracker slash. The crack slash. The cracker slash. Cracker slash. <laughs> there we go. There's Psych up in. All he needs is a grab at this point, and Paper's dead. Yep. Pretty much touch him. Touch him with anything. Wow, he had that whip punish, but didn't dash far enough to avoid that landing down air from Paper. But Paper tried to overshoot the dash attack, maybe looking for a roll, but Lamp's not gonna bite. Oh uh, no, that was a very, very, very ambitious. That might have been a miss straight up. Or maybe he expected him to up the into him. But right now, Lamp is in an awful position. Low on MP, and at 172 versus Mr. Game Watch himself. But, a tough ass <laughs> I mean, Nair killing, like, I I feel that's like rare. you never see that move kill. That's, that's <laughs> rare for these right there. <laughs> Paper's gonna take that first game after it. Honestly, Paper dominated, kinda, but then Lamp, um, once he took that first stock, it was looking like he was about to bring it back to even, but then he has to eat. I mean, definitely with Lamp and Hero, Hero is the definition of like a comeback character. Right. There's, there's so many tools in his kit with like accelerado combos, oomph, psych up the, the avatar state because you just hit the shield <laughs> and they, they explode, you know? Can we talk about how nice this new layout is for WNF real quick? Oh yeah, Ooh, brand so new. Cool. Yeah. So nice, and right now 25% already done on, on paper, I almost called him Vader there. On paper from that side B, that crazy side B. And Lamp, he's one of the best I've seen at using Accelerate with Hero. He just goes, he goes all in with that. But again, Accelerado is one of those attacks that like, most characters, it's very not intuitive because you just go so fast, you fly so far that it's hard to practice with it because you have to hope the like, chance pops right, up in the menu. Wow, but Lamp looking like an expert right now. I mean, he is a hero for sure. Just like Paper's a GNW specialist. Got him with that rising back air. Paper probably did not expect him to go that. Oh no! He went so far yeah. into it. Even that's the downside of Accelerado is that you do have increased air movement speed, but you also have increased fastball speed too. And I feel like Lamp just went too far too quick. Yeah. And right now he has that bounce and that ooh. We're not. Um, 
Psych up, psych up. Uh, There's one of the two. Yet again, he had the oomph on deck, so if he wanted to go into, you know, Avatar State, he could, but I feel like he just wanted to save it just because, you know, psych up with just any hit at this point. So, there nice. we go. That was an excellent roll pass. We recognize that Paper's gonna go for a cold hop drift in there. Oh, here's the hit juggles. by that yeah. You know, I like the attempts to use the side beat to kind of space Paper out, but I feel like that's the downside when you're using side B is that you're very, very committed into that like horizontal of the three angle. Meaning that if somebody comes in from above you at like a 45 degree angle, yeah. they're going to hit you because you can't move, you can't roll, you can't cancel out of it. You can, always, you can always mix them up by doing like the level three one, which if they land on top of you and, and time it properly, it'll super armor through their, through their move and murder them. But I know exactly what you mean. Like a lot of the time it's hard to react and do that. You kind of have to read that they're jumping poison. So if you get like red yourself and they jump from above, it's a free punish. Not to mention that it's one of the most expensive MP moves that you can use. That's right. Five MP, I believe. So yet again, if you're not, that's half your MP basically. It was not a good landing coming up from uh, Lamp. Bit of a like I really want to hit you moment back here. Um, in that situation, it's kind of just better to land reset neutral, but. Paper, right? Paper's aware enough to punish it. And unfortunately, gonna waste that psych up on the bomb. But gets Ooh. the whack and get it. Game Watch is dead. All right, he, did, he disappeared. He sent him back to the two dimension. Ooh, yeah. nice intercept of that landing coming out from Lamp. Let's see what Lamp's gonna do with this accelerate. Paper, excellent in air, jumping from ledge, recognizing the down tilt is punishable. But no mana, he has to be careful not to get thrown off stage super deep. And I feel like that's what Paper's trying to go for right now, but. Got him with that landing down air. Nice punish on that up smash. Recognized that Paper was going to press something else after. Oh, that was a risky bold. play. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, he was at like 40, so I mean like 40 MP and at 40 damage for Game Watch. You know, if he got all the hits of it, it might have killed, but I don't think so. But it would have been like, it would have been a decent position to be in, even though you lose all your MP. Right now, Lamp is in a top spot. He has to conserve as much MP as he can, play very defensive. And I love zoom. the zoom. Yeah. yeah. Zoom just like, okay, I know Game & Watch loves the edge guard. Let's just take that out of the equation. Ooh, but no see. air, he, but barely makes it back with the air dodge. Game Watch past the bomb. Dealing with that. Ooh, got him with that dash tech. Not yeah. the best DI, and that'll be the game, or that'll be the set to pay for 2-0. Shadow of Lance, former main, coming back. Our paper's going to be moving on to, I believe, is that a top 16 match? That is top six, that will be qualifying for top 16, I believe. Okay. So now we have Cyro versus Ant for top 16. Ooh, interesting. Ant beat one of my homies earlier in bracket. Mm. Uh, I believe.